Paramedics and EMTs who were in that meeting today say they're worried about being tired when they're working on a patient back here and when they're behind the wheel. Bradley County EMS employees say they're overworked, responding to dozens of calls a day and taking patients to hospitals out of town. In this morning's employee meeting, they spoke against moving from eight-hour shifts to 24-hour ones. Our biggest complaint is we're getting killed, we're getting slammed. EMTs here today say they're most concerned about being tired on the job. We thought about the people of Bradley County. If we're on 24s and I'm on my 23rd hour and I've already worked three CP and I'm going to a fourth one. I know my paramedic's going to be foggy. I'm going to be foggy. One of them even brought up this crash in Floyd County last year where an ambulance crash killing the patient inside. It appears to us that she had might have, uh, fell asleep driving the ambulance. Commissioner Johnny Mole says the county spends a lot of money in overtime pay for EMS workers. So they were looking for a way to cut back on cost. And I knew a lot of places had gone away from an eight hour. So I wanted to know what the benefits were. A study from the County Technical Assistance Service says employees would work 24 hours and be off for 48. It explains that the 24-hour schedule is popular for EMS departments, but fatigue is a factor. However, this change would be more work for the same pay. Commissioner Mole says that's one item that concerns him. I didn't realize that they were going to be working more hours for the same pay. That was not my intent at all. Commissioners say they'll vote on the issue late May or June, and if they voted in favor of 24-hour shifts, it would go in effect in July. Reporting in Bradley County, I'm Brittany Martin. Bradley County says for the 24-hour shift scheduled to work, they would also need uh, to another ambulance 